Greetings everyone, this is Mike, Whiskey Alpha 9, Papa India Echo, or VK4EIE, from Ham Radio Deluxe. Before I get started with this video, pop down and hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all the videos that we post here, announcing changes or how-to videos and the like, and um, that'll enable us to continue to improve them for you. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate the QSL labeling feature, and um, I'm going to do it with uh, the um, Brother and Dymo printers um, that are pretty popular. First of all, let's start by setting everything to default. So you can click default here. Um, that will set all the label types back to the style that we have them. And uh, it's, it's highly recommended. So click default and that will get you all set up. Okay, I'm going to start by selecting some QSOs that I know I've got a few uh, entries in my log for so I can kill two birds with one stone and demonstrate printing multiple on the same label. So I'm going to search for these and apply and I see that I've got five QSOs with all these. I'm going to select them all by pressing the control key and hitting A. That's going to select them all. Now I'm going to drop down here to file print labels okay so there's there's something that uh, we're, we're going to do a few kind of scenarios here I'm going to select the uh, brother printer and I have to select the printer I also have to select the label type and with the brother I have the uh, 201 stock so that's what's going to the, the label is going to look like um, this is the modern kind of version of the label if I wanted to select uh, what we call the traditional, it'll look like that. <clears throat> Either way, um, you know, it, it pretty much accomplishes the same thing. I kind of like the modern, so I'm going to select the modern. You've got some choices here. You, for, for date, you can select uh, either the month text, so I've got October 4, 2020, or if you uncheck this box, you'll get month, day, and year. We do put month, day, and year up here so that for the, our international users, they can see um, whether it's month, day, year, or day, month, year. Um, I'm going to leave it on uh, use month text. And then you can also select from either frequency or band. If you click this, it'll show you the band. If you click this, it'll show you frequency. So you've got those choices. And then down here, you can select some additional fields to show. Now, Notice right now I've got mode selected, and I've got some FT8, uh, an FT8 QSO there. If I had FT4, because FT4 is a sub-mode, then I'm going to want to add, and I'll add sub-mode. And I'm going to move that sub-mode to where it is next to mode. But you can see I don't have any FT4 to print, so this sub-mode is, is empty. So uh, as you select your QSOs, it might be worth just, um, you know, just selecting the FT4 ones if you're going to send out FT4 uh, cards. Um, I'm going to remove that from my view because I don't, I don't need it. So I'm, I'm ready to go. So I've got this selected. And um, another thing that I want to point out here is that um, some fonts are um, called fixed width fonts. Uh, and what I mean, what that means is, is that if you have the letter I, it's the same horizontal space as the letter Z. It works out best to use fixed width fonts because then the columns will all line up pretty well and you don't have to worry, worry too much about, you know, all that stuff. If you select a, um, a uh, non-fixed width font, which I'm going to pick one here, um, Arial is one. Um, you can see that the columns, like uh, these date columns, you know, since they, you know, some of these letters have different widths, the thing just kind of wobbles on its way down here. You'll find that uh, if you enter, um, let's say I'm going to put the um, sub mode back in. I'm not going to adjust it in, in space. I'm just going to put it back in here. With the fixed, with, with the fonts that aren't fixed width, they'll run off the edge if your font type is too large. So you have to go back and kind of play with the font types to figure out, or the font size, to figure out where you want it. 
a few years ago, I, I tried to limit the ability to change these things and, and people didn't like that. But I just want to make sure that you understand if you select a font other than the one that we've got in default, um, you could you could end up with that. All right, so, uh, but I'm going to, there, there are basically two um, fixed width fonts uh, provided with Windows. Courier New, you can see they're all lined up properly. Or Consolas, I, I kind of like that one better. So I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to select that. And then I'm going to set this to Auto, which will allow it to expand this to the full width of the, of the label. <clears throat> now I'm just going to print it, and we're going to look down here on the printer. Boom, done. And so let's have a look at what happened here. Looking pretty good. I'm going to try to bring that up to the camera so everyone can see it. So that's the that's the label, and that's my dog. So um, you know that's that's how the label is going to look when you print it. I'm going to take sub mode off and do it again because I don't need the sub mode there. Okay, so now we're looking good. Dog's still barking, but, you know, it is what it is. I'm going to click that. Here it comes. I'm going to take a look at it. And it looks pretty darn good, I must say. So that's good. So we printed with the, um, with the uh, brother, and this is a model QL700, but they should all work just fine at this point. Okay, so now we're going to print using the Dymo. This is a Dymo Label Writer 450, pretty popular. For what it's worth, I like the Brother a whole lot better. Um, it's faster. It, um, you know, will automatically cut the label for you. It's 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 a lot. It's uh, it's a lot better. It's about 25% more expensive than the Dymo. So, but let's uh, go over here and we're going to change this to Dymo Label Writer 450. And I'm pretty much going to leave everything else the same. I'm going to select the uh, the Dymo 450 label stock that I'm using here, which I think is this one. You can see the label in print preview pretty much shows the same thing. I'm going to leave it as it is. And I'm going to click print. Here comes the label. Peel this off. And let's have a look. So, yep, looks pretty good. So that's, that's, that's it. Pretty simple. Um, it's working good. Um, if you're selecting all the QSOs in your log, which I suggest you don't, you would flip that one. But, um, you know, that's that's how it's working out, and I think it's working real good. So hopefully uh, hopefully everyone will enjoy that feature. So, again, this is Mike, Whiskey Alpha 9, Papa India Echo with Ham Radio Deluxe 73s.